Wildfire season is underway now in Nova Scotia. We have not seen any major flare-ups yet, thankfully. But the city of Halifax is hoping to get an early handle on the situation and is looking to artificial intelligence to help. Brett Ruskin in front of some beautiful forest area. Oh, my gosh, that's a, good, it's a stunning backdrop for you, Brett. And I'm looking at that and looking at those trees, and I'm thinking of the fires that you were telling us about last year, how they want to avoid situations like that this year, and how do these cameras come into play? Heather, uh, here's the thing about this beautiful, picturesque spot here. This is like nine minutes from the CBC newsroom, like 12 minutes from downtown. So Halifax is right in the midst of so many homes and suburban areas that are right in the woods. So prevention and acknowledgement or, or kind of the alert of a wildfire is very, very important to this community and to the rest of the province. And so uh, Hal Halifax has a, a new plan to try to find and spot wildfire. So no more fire towers with folks with binoculars. They have actually installed a pilot project involving three cameras mounted atop those cell phone towers that send out cell signals. These cameras look in all directions and are able to capture images up to 29 kilometers away in the daytime, 21 kilometers away at night night, but the key is the artificial intelligence that powers and analyzes these images that are captured. So this AI has been trained to differentiate between uh, smoke and clouds or smoke and dust. And so once it identifies what it thinks is the beginning of a, a campfire or a small wildfire that started, it flags it, alerts staff, shows them the images and says, oh, what do you want to do with this? And, alert, and staff can then respond to that appropriately. So it's already working. It's already in place. It's spotted fires. Crews have gone out to that spot and seen, hey, it's a campfire. There were campers there who had a fire going and uh, it was perfectly legal, but it did prove the system that that it can offer this early warning sign for fire crews here in Halifax. Heather. So how important will the technology be, uh, Brett? Again, I was referencing last year. We know it was a historic season. Based on what happens then, just how significant will this assistance be now? It's going to be critical because there is talk about how to better respond to the scenes that we saw last year. Obviously, uh, there was 150 homes that were destroyed in a fire that actually happened this month last year. So we're actually at that anniversary point that was in a suburb of Halifax. Uh, there was also the largest, Hall the largest fire that Nova Scotia has ever seen down on the South Shore. So a bad wildfire season last year, to be sure. The response is being amped up. Now we have the alert and the uh, kind of detection aspect ramping up as well with this pilot project. Heather. Brett, thank you very much. It is beautiful there, my goodness. Brett Ruskin from Halifax this morning.